Welcome to Into Adventure. My name is Bill McDonald. In this episode, we're going to go on a shark diving expedition in the Catalina Channel with veteran shark divers. It's going to be my very first shark dive, so for those of you that have never been shark diving, you'll see how it's done safely with professionals. This is absolutely not something one would try on their own. So join us for shark diving. Blue sharks are the principal quarry on this expedition. Found in open water worldwide, blue sharks are considered dangerous and are known to attack victims of air and sea disasters. If you're going to dive with blue sharks, you must respect them. Instructor Len Tillum goes over some shark diving scenarios. This type of an expedition is not like going to a normal Catalina dive spot where you get there, you put your stuff on, jump in the water, and you go diving. On this type of an expedition, what you're doing is actually fishing for sharks. And so it's just like fishing for anything else. You put your bait in the water and you have to wait, you know, hour long. One thing's for sure, skin divers are an eclectic um, group. Never you never know sharks, where some of these folks are coming from. And Len Tellum's shark diving expedition is no minutes, exception. Sometimes it takes several hours. There will be safety divers in the water with you guys at all times, so you're not going to be like left out there to act as part of the bait. Um, one thing you need to be aware of, as you can see, that opening around the cage is real large. Okay, it's designed for people to be able to stick their cameras out and get lots of pictures, you know, good pictures without bars in the way. Um, on the other hand, sharks can swim back in through those holes if you're not real careful. Okay, they're they're. They're, they seem real docile and things like that, you know, and if you put up any kind of an action, you know, any kind of movement that you're alive, they're going to, you know, stay back a little bit away. They will come up close enough for you to touch, but if you back up away when they come up to the cage, they're going to probably, I mean, there's a chance of them swimming right in the cage, and I don't think you really want to be in there when they start, they're trying to get out. Okay, so try to avoid that. These expeditions can be thought of as a win-win scenario. The sharks will gorge themselves on mackerel. Hopefully, no human or shark gets hurt. And divers get a chance to photograph an apex predator whose ecological function can be compared to lions in Africa. So, what possessed you to come out here and go <laughs> shark diving? Uh, lack of uh, cerebral material, I think. Uh, Have you done uh, it before? Yeah, I've been out. Uh, I've done different things with sharks the second time out with California okay. shark diving. Pretty good stuff. I had a great time last time. The sharks all day. We're right here at Avalon Bank. Had a good trip. Should be a lot of fun. And so you're shooting stills today? Yeah, I'll be uh, shooting with my Nikonis and try and get some good still shots if I can. When Len Tillum was a marine biology student at Long Beach State, he assisted shark scientist Dr. Donald Nelson aboard his research vessel, Discovery. And so I uh, took a deep breath, jumped in the water, and when the bubbles clear, there I was, face to face with sharks everywhere. Um, I think it's an experience in my whole life I'll probably never forget for as many times as I've done this. And we've been doing these shark dives for six or seven years now. And I would say it's probably, the, the, the newness has worn off some, but it's still an extremely exciting event. You jump in the water, the bubbles clear away, and there you are with a creature who is, um, born to eat and uh, eats to survive and there you are right in the same space that he is it's got to be exciting for anybody as we approach catalina bait boxes containing chopped mackerel are tossed overboard and pulled behind the boat this will create an odor slit to attract whatever sharks are in the area what possesses you to come out here i want something different i'm bored with kelp and garibaldi dive after dive after dive this is completely different from that. And I've been diving for uh, 17 years. And I'm always offering new thrills. So you've never done this before? This is actually my, my fourth time. Huh. So how were the first experiences? I got sick and puked all over the boat. For what reason? Uh, it was rough water. Rough water. The second one was great, though. Uh, 20 uh, blues and a mako showed up. Basically, what we're going to be doing is grinding up mackerel um, into very tiny particles and dispersing these little body parts, if you will, throughout the water so that it attracts the sharks back into the back of the boat.
It's well, almost like our patience was rewarded after uh, about an hour of chumming. We've uh, finally attracted a couple of very large blue sharks, possibly six foot long, at least it appears that way. And uh, they're kind of cruising in and we're dumping some fillets over and they're kind of casually coming in taking those. So it looks like uh, the action is just about ready to begin. Come run along with us and we're going to swim with the blue sharks here in Catalina. Beautiful creatures. These things are gorgeous. One right behind them. At least five, perhaps six feet long. The particular one has got a bite mark right on the back. Yeah. Bite marks are commonly inflicted on female blue sharks during mating. Females have adapted by developing skin, which is about three times as thick as the males. Courtship behavior has never been observed. However, the blue shark litters can contain from four to over 100 babies. This wide range in number of offspring varies more than in any other live-bearing shark species. Water looks pretty clear today, so the visibility should be, should be quite right. Looking forward to a great dive. Be amazed how beautiful these creatures are, and this is not really what you would call a challenge dive or anything that uh, would be extremely dangerous. So people have been out here doing this for quite a while, and it's more of a passive celebration of these creatures more than like uh, well, we're brave or we're going in there to uh, experience things. It's not like this is just fun stuff. Since I have never been on a shark dive before, my feelings are based on conversations with Len and others. My anxiety mellows, however, when I hear that the divers are being told to wait before jumping in, so they don't frighten the sharks away. Imagine that, frightening sharks. What do you hope to do? Try to get them up out of the water, get some good bite shots. Dale Sheckler, the editor-publisher of California Diving News, is a veteran of blue shark diving. I got a picture of Len a couple years back. He was trying to do this with his hand. Oh when I got him just as the shark came up, he pulling his hand back. The shark cage in place, the sharks chomping wildly at our mackerel, it's a clear indication that these sharks are ready for divers. Uh, not bad. <laughs> well, as you can see, all the action is starting to happen here. The sharks are certainly around us, and uh, divers getting ready to go into water. Get, and water. Uh, get in there, we're going to be uh, free swimming. Some others are going to be inside the cage. We're going to start out outside the cage see how that works. So. Stand by to witness the action through the lens of my underwater video camera. See what happens. 